Hello friends, and welcome back to Anno 2205. So we didn't record a Revolution or Fusion Plant uh, last night because Shiva was sick, Sligo was missing, we didn't have enough people. Um, and it was like, I was really tired because we had Nathan over again, which is always fun. So we got some Anno 2205 here, I hope you're still enjoying it. And um, now we're back in the Arctic, we've finished our combat mission in the last uh, uh, video and we got some petrochems. Now we have to attract 250 scientists, which are the level 2 uh, people. And we want to be very careful in the Arctic about how we upgrade these people. Um, I am rather... Um, what the heck? What's to say? What just happened there? Happy as a clown. I can't, like, see the house. There's something weird going on with the game. Maybe that'll fix it. No, it's not fixing it. Oh, there we go. Like, the, the house wasn't showing up. Did you see that? Okay, so we're promoting people uh, into scientists. I want to make sure that I do that in area that has... The details again? You should really keep your cloud up to Good date. coverage. She wants me to, to do something in some other area. As we upgrade these people, we gotta watch out for our resources. I wish you could keep both of these up at the same time. Okay, we need more community, but as we remember, the community center is very, very expensive. A thousand maintenance, and we don't have the um, uh, the income to, to do that. So we're just gonna keep upgrading using upgrade mode the houses that are within reach of the community center okay we've completed the blueprints for the rocket launch pad plans and done a few tests as far as we're concerned you can start construction all right the blueprints do look promising but I spoke with John Rafferty and there are some practical issues you will need to be careful. These people are shoot first, forget the questions. Okay, so the Tonrar defense line has popped back up if we wanted to go and do another mission. I'm just going to do these things off camera because we've seen them and they're the same every time. Um, although I think Tonrar might be a new one. There's, there's like two or three different scenarios in each of those locations that it can be. Um, so there's not a huge amount of var variation there. They basically play out the same way. Um, they're just a little more t challenging as the difficulty increases. So now that we've gotten over a hundred scientists, we just have to wait for three and a half minutes and this uh, project over here, down here, um, will complete the next phase. I don't know if that phase means we'll actually get a benefit yet or what, but it's there. Now we have to create a transfer route for super alloys. So we can produce um, another building material here called super alloys. Um, Excuse me, which um, we need to send to Viridian Coves. We're going to need it here later, but for now we have to send it to Viridian Coves. So we click on scientists, just make sure that our food and everything is good, it's good. And we can build the plasma smelter, which sounds awesome, um, which requires two molybdenum and four aluminum. And we don't currently have those in balance. We have the molybdenum, but we need uh, more aluminum. So the answer to that is to go to our aluminum mine and build another module. Everything installed. Give it a try. And now we're at plus six. And we can't put any more of those down there. So at maximum production, with all three of these productivity upgrades, an aluminum mine can produce 18 uh, aluminum, which is quite nice. We could put a drone hive on here if we wanted to lower the um, worker cost, which we might do because it's using quite a lot of workers. So we can just grab this. We can just put one there. Everything installed. Give it a try. You know, that uh, gives us some more workers to work with in this Arctic region. The Arctic region doesn't have as many workers, if you've noticed. Okay, so we've got enough aluminum and enough molybdenum to create um, one plasma smelter. Because it'll use uh, four aluminum. Too bad it doesn't go the other way, because molybdenum we currently have more of. But anyway, plasma smelter. We want to place this down somewhere. Uh, where do we need... Place it where we need some heat, in a direction that we want to expand our uh, settlement in. 
And I think that is going to be right here. The production is running? Good. Besides launch pad it's and using quite a lot of metal like this has many other applications. These two things, three things are using quite a lot of um, quite a lot of logistics. So um, how much do logistics centers cost? Oh, I don't actually have one yet. So uh, we need to build one of these transport centers. I'm sure I put one somewhere. No. Um, so we're going to build that and we're going to put it over here so that it can supply these uh, buildings. Yeah, put it right there. Oh, we need more we need more power. There we go. More power. That's good. We're all good. Now, let's talk about the next few steps. Don't have building sites available. What's she talking about? Whatever. Um anyway. So this is going alright. We don't have a lot of income right now because the buildings here. They do produce income, but they cost a lot, um, so it kind of offsets it. We've got our plasma smelter going. Um, it's kind of expensive to maintain, so uh, if we... Uh, we don't have a, a financial calculator available for this building, so we can't actually make it cheaper. Uh, but it uses a lot of workers, so we could totally stick a drone hive on it. And remember, these drone hives are based on... You did well. I think we should consider preferred partner status. The base value. Just the one I'd hope to find. I have a project that promises to be mutually rewarding. They don't have diminishing returns. Wait, what does he want me to do? Oh, he wants me to tow these boats. All right. Time to make some improvements. Okay. All right. Well, what I want to do is I want to make uh, some more houses because I want to, um, you know, start building up this settlement a bit more. Now, I can't ever upgrade these houses at this point into scientists, but if you remember the way it works... The more workers we have, then we'll be able to upgrade more um, scientists. So wherever it lets us upgrade, we'll do it. And then, then we probably will hit a wall where we can't do any more. And, that's, and that'll just be because... Um, no, come on. Of course I can't upgrade a boat. We're going to do this. So all we have to do is we have to tow his stuff over there and we'll get 50 logistics. So this sector, he's giving us uh, extra logistics through these things. It's pretty sweet. Because it means we'll have to... Um, whoa, why do we have zero logistics? Oh, it's because uh, it's not... Uh, right, because we're over... We, we went over to this island and this island has nothing on it yet. We are going to be needing to build up those islands later. Expand up to them. Copy that. Because, like she said, we're running. Uh, each island only has so many building sites, so I shouldn't be clicking on those, should I? I, I think I'm maxed out on metal foam. Oh no, no, I'm not. We can get more metal foam in storage. I was recently thinking about Anno 2070 again, and and the differences between these two games, and I got to thinking, you know. Um. While I do like, while I did enjoy the whole trading between islands thing on Anno 2070, if you played it, you know that um, that was pretty uh, cool. And balancing your, um, you know, creating stuff in one island and sending it to another island was pretty neat. Um, it did po pose a very. I can still improve that system. Um, Just a little fine calibration. Difficult challenge to multiply. Because those you'd be so conservative. cargo ships Come on, make your voice were count. so easy to kill, it meant that Underway. basically as soon as combat started, if you weren't the first person to initiate combat, you were screwed. In this game, 
they've separated combat from the main thing. Fast and efficient. That's the way to so having a multiplayer mode like you did in this 2070 wouldn't really work. And now I hope you'll agree to take part in a little project. Okay, we have to have 300 plus energy for five minutes, and these timers count down whether we're currently in the sector or not. So before we go to Viridian Coves to do what we have to do next, we're going to um, do this energy balance. So we have to have 300 energy. Uh, balance here so what I'm thinking is that the best way to do that uh, is probably because I think we're producing 900 um, so if we can just lower our energy maintenance by using some modules uh, on the most expensive to energy things we could probably meet that demand um, for example this neuro module factory uses quite a lot no I don't want to do that right there no, stop that. So that's down to 96. This is only using 25. This is only using 40. Check out this mine. No, it's the geothermal plant. Where's the mine? That's only 40. Molybdenum is 20. This is 60. This is still higher, so we'll drop one on this. Wait, was that the right thing? That no, was a drone hive. I didn't want to put a drone hive on. I wanted to put this on. Accumulator. Oh well. Wasting resources. That's what I do. So that's down to 72. We can't adjust that. That's still at 96. There we go. 301. So there's multiple ways to do this. We could we could have built another geothermal plant, but that would use up a bit of space. And later we're going to get another power plant for this place. It's better. So lowering our power uh, consumption is the same thing. Sorry, but I'm short on time. Anthony Goodwin, Secretary of Pan Terrestrial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. Seriously. Okay, so we need to establish the actual transfer route to Viridian Coves. So we're going to go to new transfer route. We're going to go to Arctic Resources. We're going to select Super Alloys. Select Akia Flows. Select this place. And we don't actually need Super Alloys in Akia Flows right now. So we are totally going to send yeah, all of it. That's the thing. The metal deliveries are coming in at a good rate now. Phase 3 is within reach. But coordinating all the different branches of your uh, space program will now. be a tremendous task. You will have to delegate some responsibilities, like it or not. All right, time to go back to Viridian Co's and build up to executives. Excellent. These guys actually want neuro implants, though. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. We're going to have to go back to the Arctic later and uh, build up some more neuro implant generation because the executives want it. Uh, but we're going to have to boost up our money first. Um, by building up some houses here in the temperate region because they produce more money and it's just easier to build them okay so a couple of things about super alloys now that we're sending super alloys here we could actually build a bridge now they if you want to build a bridge they recommend you have an input of 50 okay and we only have an input of six that means plus 50 coming in that's that's hard to do it will still work it will still go but it'll go slowly all right that's what that means attention under provision of specific consumer goods detect how is the situation developing what did this guy want me to do I have a two thousand uh, credit balance okay 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 so we'll go ahead and um, try and accommodate that we need more rejuvenators okay as soon as we oh yeah this is like the price ticker like stock ticker it shows you how the value of items when you sell them to the space station are changing. So right now, uh, fruits are up, fish is up, organic food is up, and three other ones were down. So if you're trading to the space station, you're probably going to want to pay attention to that. We're not trading to the space station, so we don't really care about it. Okay, so we need rejuvenators now. Um, so it's time to make some, uh, some rejuvenation. Time to do some rejuvenating. That's water. That's desalination. That's power. Did I even start rejuvenator production? I don't think so. Now that I'm looking at it. We're going to do it over here. This coastal building site right here. Okay. So we're going to make this building site algae farm. 
We're going to connect it by running a, f a road straight this way. Oh, now you have a uh, power shortage. So we're going to build another module on our tidal power station. Because it's really good. Please adhere to our guidelines while you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do the Tonrar defense line later, okay? Come on. Okay, we need to build more houses. Um, the, the problem is we're running out of space on this island. So I actually am going to start up this bridge. Beginning bridge construction. You can see that it's progressing, um, but it's draining our resources. So once this hits zero, this is going to slow down a lot. And it's going to slow down to the pace of the fa of our resource generation. Uh, it's still going to go, though, so it'll be fine. Once this is finished, we'll be able to just connect to a, ro a road to it. Yeah, I know. But I see it, it's it's ticking along slowly. And as we uh, we work on our place, it'll, it'll keep uh, building itself up. So I'm going to stretch a road over here. All right. Time to make some improvements. Rafferty, would you cut it out? Apparently, I need to turn off tutorial things in order to get that guy to stop talking. Okay, the question here is whether I could fit... Nope, just two. So it's, it's still better to do this. And, um... Hmm. How do we want to... Where do we want to save a space for that? Because there's going to be other, um things that we need to put in. You haven't come far on the progress bar yet. Would you just leave me alone? I'll I'll get to it, okay? I'll get to it. More houses, more awesomeness. Now we need more food and more drinks and more water. So we'll go over here to this desalination plant, we'll place another module. Quality work, you'll see. Then we will um, increase our production of organic foods. Where's the farm at? Rice farm. Okay. Um, not really a lot of room for upgrade, uh, improving it. Oh yeah, this one. Not ideal. But uh, we do it for now. Okay, so we have enough fruits. We need to um, improve vitamin drinks by building another module on one of these. Now we don't have enough fruits, so now we have to upgrade a fruit. So we'll upgrade this one. Just add another fruit module. Turn it. Put it in. There we go. That's good. Back up into positive. And we still have a net increase of money. Um, of income. This... I can still improve that system. This settlement is starting... Just a little fine calibration. Oh, come on, you dude. This settlement is starting to look a little um, funky. But uh, it should be fine. We're going to have to place a security department later, and I think it'll fit here, which is why we're leaving it open. All right, anyway, we've got algae production now. We're producing uh, 16 of it. Now we need the synth cell incubator, which we're just going to place... Uh, well, we need to place another... Uh, one of these transport centers. We're going to place it like right there. So now you have plenty of um, logistics and these things over here will not eat the logistics up like a crazy person. So we need the synth cell incubator right there. Okay. We're very low on, on income at the moment because these things cost a lot of maintenance. These are, Welcome. these are still in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's a good thing we have this information depot over here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do it. Um, we'll upgrade these guys. Um, that's still good. We just need synth cells. So now we have synth cell production plus eight. Now we can build the uh, biomedical laboratory, but it requires sixteen synth cells. So we have to upgrade this to sixteen. Two ways to do it. Uh, we have to build two of these synth cell chambers, or build another synth cell incubator. Um, we're just going to build chambers, because why wouldn't we build chambers? The best way to build these chambers is on the back of the building, so we are going to have to move it over. 
Now we're at plus 14. And now we are up to where we need to be. I don't know what happened to this thing for a moment. Anyway, now we have... Uh, oh yeah, we're at minus four algae. All right. So we'll Time to make some improvements. build another algae thing. Quality work, you'll see. Okay, so now we got that. Now we have enough production of synth cells, 20, to build a biomedical laboratory. Which will produce, and it's it's big. See, it's it's a big building. I don't like how big it is. Um, it's a funky shape too, but I mean, it, it does. Yeah, it's just a weird shape. I don't like it. But uh, it's kind of a neat looking building anyway. We're gonna place it there. One step closer to immortality, <laughs> and I'm not referring to the miracle drug you've developed. You will live on through your deeds. Miracle drug. It, it, Construction it, options. Expanded. It doesn't say what they actually sure. do. Ride this totally irrational trend as long as it runs. Yeah, we're currently higher than a bar of Fox Common Li Shang now. Site ready for bridge construction. Next level at four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine employees. Why not just? No, come on. Why not just five thousand? All right, bridge construction. We have to pay ten iridium, which is fine. We have plenty. Make sure everything that happens on your new island conforms to regulations. Creating space. We now have a traffic line. So I believe what we need to do. I never actually haven't used a bridge yet. Is just pull this straight down. Now there is a road connection to the bridge. Now we can uh, expand over here. And we will totally do that. Off camera, I'm probably going to move the entire settlement to this side of the bridge. And then we'll make we'll use this smaller area over here as uh, our production facilities. I did that in my single player uh, on my other company. And I really liked the way it turned out. Because it meant that we could um, optimize the layout of these buildings, of these farms. And it works out really, really well. So uh, that's what we'll do later, off camera. So our goal here is to get to is to get executives, and we have to create more uh, uh, neuro implants and build a security place. Do we have access to the security tower? Yes, we do. Does it fit in this slot? It does not. It is much. It is bigger. It is too big. Okay. Um, where we place this is going to be really important because you can see it provides a benefit to all the roads, but it's not a good enough benefit later over. Like we really want to place it like over here, I think, or we want to move some of these buildings and uh, and put it over here, like in the middle of our settlement. So let's see if we can't move enough buildings um, to actually fit it in. So, security. I need to move more stuff. Now, I think what we can do is we can put that there and put that there. And I think the security station would still, I can still fit improve that system in that direction. Just a little fine calibration. Yes, it would. It will. So, right. time to make some improvements. If we move some more of these small houses, I can move it over there. We can move this over here. And it still doesn't fit. Because we have to move that last house. So we'll be able to fill this in with smaller houses. Okay. So now we can place our security station, which is going to require 1,000 maintenance, 100 power, 50 workers, which we have enough of. Security controls essential in our spaceport. Security is Even insufficient. So you're dealing with terrorists of the orbital watches caliber. But only by two. So we've done a decent job. These ones over here are too far away, and we can solve that problem by moving these worker ones over there. Because if you remember, these worker um, level houses don't require security. And the f no, 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 and the further away a security uh, a building is that consumes something, the more of it it consumes. So by moving these employee houses over here. We can all... Oh, minus one. It's down to minus one. There must be a house too far away. Okay, there's two houses over here. 
that we want to move closer. So we'll put that there. We'll put this here. In fact, we'll just take these worker houses and we'll move them way over here. And then we'll take this house and we'll put it here. I don't actually know if this is possible. Uh, yeah. It, it... We just might not have enough production. I, I, I always like to try to do it, though. It would be awesome if we could. Yes! We did it! Sufficient! I am, however, still going to move this house over here. Move this closer. Sufficient! We did it! We managed to move houses around in order to stretch our 10 security supply to be sufficient. So, that definitely, definitely helped. Now, they require you neuro implants. Here? And I haven't even cleaned up. I'm not sure what these rejuvenators are. They're made out of whatever synth cells are, so it's probably some sort of, like, reverse aging treatment or something? Who knows? Something pretty... It's probably something pretty awesome. Okay. So, we need to get our income above... Bring me up to date. 2,000 in order to satisfy this dude. Um, if we can satisfy the neural implants, we probably will get that, but we have to spend a lot of money to do it. Anyway, we're going to go back up here. We need eight neuro implant production. Um, so we need to go back to Akia Flows. May I do some shameless self-advertising? Got a trading <laughs> post in this sector yeah, too. Bill Jorgensen. Please stop by, okay? I like how there's a Jorgensen in every game. Um, okay, so back to Akia Flows. We are currently producing... Excellent work. I'll be sure to recommend... Plus one. We have to produce more. How serendipitous. I need someone reliable for an assignment, and uh, here you are. So we pop another one of these on here. Now we don't have enough molybdenum. So we go over here. And we pop another one of these on here. These giant molybdenum drills. And now we are producing uh, plus seven. Let's see what he wants. He wants us to tow more scientists. That's easy. Let's do it. Where are they? Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> I didn't read it right. I'm towing the ships that I towed over here earlier. I'm now towing to the spaceport. Okay, I gotcha. We'll speed up time. I forgot. I actually forgot I could do that earlier. We'll speed up time so that the boat gets there faster. Full speed ahead. I like the whole speeding up time thing. speed ahead so yeah when it comes to this game I really I enjoy the way it does it's uh all right Time to make some improvements I was recently I was thinking to myself you did well I think we should consider preferred partner status for you Anno seems I'm waiting seems to have difficulty time is money and both are flying out the window you almost activate done? the detonator oh right here These channels will help us feed the world. I'll be in touch when the second channel's ready. There we go. Blast of the channel. That ice must have been thick. And there we go. So now this channel checkpoint is currently producing logistics. I just, uh, if I go back over here, I just got a big bump of logistics. Now the thing is, that's plus per sector. So if I go to this island, it has 50 logistics off the bat. This island has 50 logistics, and this island, which means that when I first expand these islands, I'm going to have a nice big logistics bo uh, boost, which is going to really help once I have to expand there because we'll be out of uh, mining sites on this island. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Anno 2205. 
Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.